While I certainly understand that this is not going to save everyone, I do think that it is going to save lives. Keeping domestic violence victims out of harm's way. Since 2014, anyone who's been convicted of domestic violence or has a restraining order against them has been forced to turn their guns over to police. But there's been one problem. What we found out uh, soon after is that even though they were prohibited possessors, everybody was keeping the firearms. That's where Monday's new law comes into play. It's the missing enforcement piece that forces sheriff and police departments to create a plan to make sure those weapons are, in fact, being confiscated. There were some parishes, Lafouche Parish being one, that though there was no spelled out process, they just started doing it. In Lafouche Parish, in that period of 2014 till now, they haven't had one individual domestic violence murder um, since that law went into effect. So State Senator J.P. Morrell, who sponsored this new law, says Lafouche Parish has become the pioneer of proper enforcement, making sure the weapons are turned over when the charges are filed. When you're charged, they take the firearm away so that during that prosecutorial process, you don't have an angry former spouse, former boyfriend, former girlfriend out there armed looking to do bad things. Domestic violence victims probably have never had enough support, so the more we can do to help stop that and help people that have been victimized by it is, is great. But this new law also puts new responsibility on those who sell guns when someone who's been convicted of domestic violence tries to purchase a weapon. Right there is a huge red flag and for anyone to just say I don't know anything about that I, I'm, I'm gonna turn my back to that that is completely irresponsible. So now gun dealers have to call the local authorities and report the attempted purchase so they can track down that person and inform the victim. Law enforcement agencies all across the state have from now until January 1st, 2019 to create policies and procedures to make sure those guns are actually being confiscated. And coming up on WDC News at 6, I'll have more information on how and when those convicted can get their firearms back. Live in the CBD tonight, Juliana Mazza, WDSU News.